Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel for the summer lipstick haul. Let's just jump right into this. I'm gonna start with the one that I am wearing because that seems to make the most sense. This one is from NARS. This is the color Damage and it's from their line of sheer lipsticks. But looking at the level of color and pigment that I'm getting with this, I would not call this a sheer lipstick. To me, sheer is referring more to the texture, which is a very glossy kind of texture. You're gonna get a good shine with this one, whereas with some of their others and something more like a matte, it's obviously not going to have that kind of glossy finish. Even with the glossy finish though, it doesn't feel sticky on the lip. I just really don't care for matte as much on my face, so I really love the sheer line of lipsticks from NARS. I have a few more from NARS as part of this haul, um, so let's do the next sheer one. This one is in the shade Dolce Vita. I've not opened this one yet, so let's take a peek. So this is definitely looking a little bit more on the mauve side or maybe a, like a warmer berry. But here again, we're getting that same shiny finish. It's just gonna be a little bit lighter than, what did I say this first one was called, Damage? Yeah, so this one's just gonna be a little bit lighter, a little bit more pink than the shade Damage, but I think both of these are going to work really well on my skin tone. The next lipstick I purchased from NARS is a matte, and this is in the shade Cat Fight, which looks to be similar to Dolce Vita, but in their matte finish. So let's take a look at the difference we have there. Oh, it's broken. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm just gonna have to find a way to make this work. Okay. So it's actually kind of right between the other two color-wise. I would say it's actually more pink than the Dolce Vita, but certainly not as purple as Damage. And it is a matte finish. I have not purchased any matte finish lipsticks from NARS in the past. I think I do have one very bright red one that I'll wear around the holidays, but these are kind of stepping outside of that just sort of bare lip nude that I typically gravitate toward, and I'm really liking all three of these except for the fact that this one is completely broken. So other than that, great color, looking forward to wearing all three of these. And before we leave NARS, I purchased one more lip item from them. This is a gloss in the color Turkish Delight, and it's a really popular one. I think it's been around for a long time, and this is kind of just the perfect quasi-transparent pink to put over top of any lipstick to get a nice shine on it. Like there, you can kind of just see the glimmer in the reflection of my ring light. And it's just a very, very soft pink. Nothing that's gonna show up too much or really ruin the tone of the lipstick that you have on your face. It's just going to give it a nice gloss and kind of cool it down a little bit, I would think, if it's a really warm shade. So let's step away from high end for a moment and look at some drugstore lipsticks. So Milani just released a line of flesh tone lipsticks. They have these very interesting tubes, which I haven't quite made up my mind about them. I can see what they were trying to do here in terms of making it look a little bit flashier, a little bit more high end, but because it's still just this smooth, sort of chunky plastic, I personally think it makes the lipsticks look a little bit cheap. That said, I have actually had an occasion to wear this one. This is in the shade Secret, and I really liked it. It is a matte shade, so I'll put it on my hand here, sort of next to that shade Cat Fight. What I will say for this, even though it's a matte color, so there is the Milani, and next to it here is the Cat Fight from NARS. This is one of the softest matte lipsticks I have ever put on my face. It didn't dry out, it didn't give me the ring of death in the corner, I think we like to call it. I had no issues with the formula for this lipstick. And as you guys know, I sometimes have opinions about packaging, but they will generally not deter me if the product inside is amazing. I'm not that snooty about my cosmetics. So this one, the Milani new lipsticks, they come in a few different flesh tones. I think there's maybe six or seven of them. Really, really beautiful formula. This here is the shade Secret. I was worried it would pull a little warm on me. It does just a little bit. I think that's why I prefer the Cat Fight color because it's a little bit cooler, 
but Milani drugstore prices, amazing formula, definitely check this one out. So while I was shopping drugstore lipsticks, I found this really cool thing from Essence. This is called Essence Glimmer Glow Lipstick, and it kind of reminds me of, I don't remember what it was called, the frog one? There was that lipstick that where you would take it out of the tube and it was green, but it would play off of the, your pH and it would change color on your lips. So this one does the same thing, but the lipstick itself is this tube of glitter. It's, it looks like it's just completely clear and encapsulated a bunch of glitter and shimmery particles in there. So I have worn this and I don't know if it's going to work on my hand. So if it doesn't, I'll just do another clip for you guys later where I'm putting it on my lips. But basically this does the same thing where it'll play off of your pH and it will turn this really cool berry bubblegumish kind of a pink. Okay, so it's not going to do anything on my hand, it's just staying clear. So I will wait until another day and I will put a cut in here for you guys of what this looks like on the lips after it sort of developed its sort of pinkish hue because it's really cool and very fun, completely affordable price. In terms of lipstick and evenness and consistency and all of those important things we want to know that we're paying for, I definitely wouldn't even worry about that. This is just something that was a few dollars really fun and when you take it out of your bag and twist it up it just is a big tube of glitter and who doesn't love that? I picked up two shades of the MAC Luster Glass lipstick which I was excited about because MAC has always had a wide range of things from matte to sheer to creams to shimmers and the whole nine. This one I thought would be kind of like the NARS sheers in the sense that they're not really sheer in the sense that you're not getting color, but you're getting that little bit of gloss to it. And when I opened the packaging, it definitely um, seemed to jive with that assumption because the matte lipstick tubes are historically just that matte black. And these are like a glossy black, like almost like patent leather versus leather. Hi, sweet girl. I'm gonna have my little kitten friend here with me for the rest of the video. So this one is in the shade Syrup, which let me know how you say that. Do you say syrup or syrup? Because I've always said syrup, or at least I used to until I spent some time living in the South and I feel like everybody down there said syrup and I tried to lose my Northern accent a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with syrup here and it's kind of a pinkish, it's more pink than any of the others that I purchased. It's more sheer than the NARS sheer so this is the color we're looking at right here, and these two were the NARS Shears. So you can see, comparable in the sense that I'm getting that shimmer, that gloss kind of finish, but more sheer than the NARS Sheer. You're going to take a little bit more product to build up your layer of color with these MAC Luster Glass lipsticks. But I really liked the color. I liked how pink it was because, again, whenever you see these online, I'm always very concerned they're going to pool warm. So the other one that I got was in the shade Sell Out, which when I opened my envelope from MAC, I honestly thought these were going to be basically the same color. I mean, look at those. But this one, the Sell Out shade, is a little bit more orange. So let me just put a swatch here and I'll show you. Um, so they actually aren't the same. And I guess it's not even, it is a little coral, not quite orange. But here on the bottom, this is sellout versus syrup. So you can see they're definitely different enough that if you wanted to buy both, like I did, it's certainly not going to hurt you. But that finish is just amazing. It's a very comfortable wear. The way that I was talking about the Milani and how comfortable that felt on my lips. The new MAC Luster Glass. Sometimes with their creams, especially with their mattes, I would have problems getting that lipstick ring around the corner of my mouth. This Luster Glass formula from them, I don't have that problem. So I highly recommend it. I'm not sure how many colors they've dropped in this collection yet, but they're very, very good. Same kind of quality you expect from MAC without some of the hiccups that maybe you've experienced with their lipsticks in the past. So I've got two more, and these ones were both from Smashbox, and these are their Prime and Plush lipsticks. I've never purchased Smashbox lipstick before, so this is gonna be kind of a blind test for me, and of course I did it again, 
the labels make it look like these are exactly the same color. So I'm going to start with the shade Level Up. This one looks like it's going to be a really soft pink, but let's see what we get. I don't know how matte or sheer these are supposed to be. Those are really fun. Look at that. It's like a nice, feels good in your hand, like a nice solid tube of lipstick. See, this is what I'm talking about, you guys. So that looks to me like it's significantly darker than what that color swatch would make you think it is. But let's see how it swatches. Well, it looks almost exactly like the Milani lipstick, except it's not going to be a matte finish. So here is the color sellout from Smashbox, and I'm hoping you can see in the reflection of the light there that you're getting kind of a very soft finish to that. It's not matte. But right next to it is that Milani drugstore lipstick that I bought that I told you it is a matte finish, but it's a very soft, comfortable matte. So those are almost identical in color. I would, I would go so far as to say that those are identical. So if you like a matte finish, I would definitely go with the Milani. It's more affordable. But if you liked that color and are like me, not a huge fan of the matte, the Smashbox is literally the same color. I really just think the color on the lid seems so much lighter than the color in the lipstick. So I'm a little bit worried that this one called Literal Queen is going to be exactly the same way and just not be something Thing that I really want to wear, but let's find out. Oh, that is very bright coral, coral lipstick, and that is not at all how it was portrayed on the website. Okay, so I do think there's going to be a chance that this will stay in the pink family. So this one right here is the last one from Smashbox. This is called Literal Queen. And I can see how that might pull very coral, um, but whereas this one is, has a lot more brown in it, this definitely has more on the pink side. So that'll be interesting to see on my face. I'm definitely gonna have to try that one out, but I will say for the formula on the Smashbox, I really, really like it. There's actually not a single formula on my hand that I could complain about, you guys. They all feel very soft, very comfortable. Like I said, I think the sheerest ones in terms of pigment are gonna be the MAC Luster Glass. Is that what they're called, Luster Glass? Yeah. But the NARS Sheer, you're gonna get good color and you're gonna get a nice finish. Um, the NARS matte lipstick, maybe not as comfortable as the Milani matte. Those are the only two mattes in this haul. I think my favorite, it's still going to be the NARS Sheer. That's just a formula that I have a lot of experience with that I really, really like. I've been wearing this all day and I absolutely love it. So we're going to have to see. But I can't honestly tell you that I'm disappointed in any of these. I'm a little bit surprised at the colors of the Smashbox lipsticks because I just don't think that what's on the color swatch here really matches what's on my hand over here. I mean, am I crazy? But I just don't think that those really match. So if I'd seen these in the store, would I have walked out with them? Probably not. But all of the other colors I'm actually really very pleased with. and. Um, this is kind of going to round out my lipstick collection. So that's going to be it for the summer lipstick haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I will link absolutely every single one of these down in the description box for you. I'll also link the NARS Little Princess. That is sort of my go-to everyday lipstick in case you are interested in that as well. But thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and your viewership. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.